I think we'll start this out with an example of what the hell the chain is you're going to have a task. You're by the function. Qualifier. Yeah, we might be wrong. Well, in order to understand that, we need to understand the So which kind of level do you want? So now I can no longer get to my boogers. Clap like you mean it. You meant it. I did. It was a nice response prompt, by the way. Well, that's what it was titled. <laughs> All right, good. So I think that's what we're talking about, right? Uh, that was a prompt with a prompt. You're prompting a prompt? We prompted a prompt. You're prompting me to prompt them to prompt each other about response prompting? There we go. Oh, <laughs> this could be naughty. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is about response prompting, as you might have already guessed. Um, a response prompt, uh, there's a lot to them. There's a lot of different layers of a response prompt, so let's just look at the absolute basics first, okay? Uh, so I'm going to start with an example. If you look behind me on the horizon, um, you can see it's rather, shall we say, hazy. Um, I happened to look just a few moments ago, and it is 80 parts per million of type 2.5 pollutant, which basically means it's somewhat smoky. Um, it, for a while here, it was so smoky that... Uh, you should have stayed outside. So just looking at that parts per million thing, the, the number, or you should have stayed outside. <laughs> if you wanted to die, yes. Um, no, so the response prompt, the, uh, the stimulus is prompting you um, to either put on a mask or stay inside. So in today's uh, today's weather though, not so bad, right? Um, so there is a response prompt here that I should probably limit my time outside just because it's kind of smoky, I can kind of smell it. All of those things are prompting particular responses. Um, well, there's different levels of response prompts, right? And th there can be all sorts of things. And when we talk about it in terms of um, delivery of services and we talk about it in an applied setting, we talk about the uh, behavior analyst doing the prompting. Okay, so uh, I know I'm using the example of the smoke and all that stuff. Um, it's a good-ish example. Um, it would be more like if the cameraman would have said, hey, look at the smoke, what should you do? Right, so he's kind of making a stimulus prompt in the sense of getting me to attend to the stimulus, but the what should you do part is prompting me in a very minimalist method, that's a hint for later, um, to engage in like a mask or staying inside, right? Uh, so anyway, let's talk about some of the different types of response prompts. We've got uh, least to most prompting, we've got most to least prompting. That's what really we're talking about here. Hang on. The joys of recording next to a busy road. Um, so most to least and least to most prompting. So least to most, we start off with the least to most invasive prompt and then ramp it up, right? So it might be a simple verbal prompt to get you to engage in some response. Um, and then if you're not able to do it, maybe we can get a little more specific with the verbal response. So for example, uh, when my kiddos get a gift or something like that, I often say, what do you say? That's a very gentle response prompt, right? Um, so you can ramp it up a little bit, like, you know what you need to say, it's that special word, it's that really nice word, what is it? Right, so, so you can see I'm trying to get them to say please or thank you, sorry, not please, but um, say thank you or something to that effect. Um, and then I suppose you could reach over and move their mouth and get them to do it, uh, but that's obviously extreme. But you get the idea that we're going from... Um, I really have a desire at the moment to give all these big trucks middle fingers because they haven't been out here for weeks. And in the moment we show up to do recording, here they are. So anyway. Um, I'm not going to let it punish me though. We will bring you more videos from the hill. Um, so let's see why I have my sunglasses on. Don't know, don't care. Um, so least to most, so we get more invasive as we go. You can start the other direction. Um, you can start with a really intense, heavy prompting. Um, if you think about getting somebody, teaching somebody how to um, uh, you know, eat with a spoon or even teaching a dog to shake or things like that, you can start off with some really intense responses such as use graduated guidance type procedure, right? So you, um, where you, you guide their, their hand to their mouth with the food or holding the spoon or whatever it is you're working on, then you slowly back off on your prompts. So the second time around you might do something, you just nudge them along and keep your hands nearby and then after that you could just keep your hands nearby and not touch them um, and then you could fade that out to verbal prompts. You get the idea and you back off. So that's like the most to least type scenario, right? Uh, so there's lots of things you can do with response prompts, but really what you want to think about is some type of additional stimuli in the environment, probably delivered by the uh, behavior analyst, in order to get the learner or the client or whoever it is you're working with to engage in the response that you're shooting for. Um, it's not necessarily an SD um, for some very specific reasons that I don't want to get into because it'll take the rest of our battery, but um, it will, under certain conditions, it might be. 
So don't get them confused. A response prompt is more like a nudge to get you to engage in a particular response. The SD, the genuine SD, should already be present in the environment. Somebody hands you something, that should be an SD for you saying thank you. Uh, so so that, that giving you the gift uh, should be the SD. You might have to do a little bit of additional response prompting to get it to happen. Of course, we always want to fade those out and so, so the environment has the real control over the behavior and we have a naturalistic setting. So um, I think that's probably enough on response prompts. There's always something I forget. Uh, we do that on purpose so we can come back and give you more videos. We wouldn't want to give them all away, all in one shot, right? I guess, maybe, I don't know. So you know what would be helpful though? We need some response prompts from you. Res prompt us to say more, say less, I, I don't know. Re interact, give us something, prompt us somehow, some way, please, something. It's kind of a response prompt, hint, hint. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. <laughs> There's a certain amount of motivation that's occurring at the moment, folks, and I think I've been told to finish Cooper, otherwise- Escape! <laughs> otherwise I can't, I can't escape. <laughs> content. We're never going to finish with the content. Haven't you figured it out yet, folks? We're going to go Cooper, then we're going to go everything else. So please like, subscribe, share. It's about the best thing you can do to get us to actually do things more effectively and more efficiently. So, but maybe donate. Donate's useful as well. But anyway, like, subscribe, share. See you later at another time. <laughs>